What's up, church? I hope you guys have had an incredible Christmas, got to open up some great gifts, enjoy your family and your friends. It's been an amazing 2019, and now our hearts are beginning to turn and look forward to 2020. But before we did that, we wanted to say time out, take a break, and let's remind ourselves of all we got to see the Lord do this year. It has been an incredible year as a church, full of all kinds of great stuff. I wonder if you can remember some of these great things we got to experience the Lord do at New Spring Church. Y'all check this out. So we started off our year doing what we're gonna do at the start of every year, and that's praying because we believe there are some things that won't change until you pray. So we gathered in rooms all over the state of South Carolina at six in the morning for a week, lifted up our prayers to God and He heard us and wow was He faithful. 2019 in Kid Spring was so much fun. We did a ton of series, but one of our favorites was the Great Outdoors where kids in elementary school did a Grow Devo. Many kids made decisions to follow Jesus and it was awesome. Hey, we have to celebrate the Titan the Knot Marriage Conference. It was incredible. Five campuses hosted. We had over 4,800 attendees and over 500 volunteers. Our church was strengthened because our marriages were strengthened and we're still seeing the effects. Earlier this year, all over the state of South Carolina, we had the opportunity to show visible love to our communities by having a 4SC day. Uh, we had the opportunity to spread mulch, build wheelchair ramps, stock food pantries, paint, all kinds of stuff, because we as a church are for South Carolina and our God is too. 2019's gatherings have been incredible. All building up to Easter, it was a Tetelestai weekend, the end of our sin, shame, self, and Satan himself, so that we might be able to start our lives. Jesus said, Tetelestai, it is finished, so that your life can begin. 2019 has been an incredible year. Construction has begun here at Eastland, and uh, we're just so excited about everything that's coming for 2020. On Mother's Day, our Eastern congregation moved back to the sanctuary we, where we had worshiped for 30 years. It's beautiful now, and we rejoice that on Sunday and Wednesday evenings, it's full of young people. Thank you for giving and for praying. And one of the highlights of the year is the summer cookout. It's about food, family, and fireworks. Man, we ate some great barbecue. I rode a mini bike, I looked like a clown, and we blew up thousands of pounds of fireworks. A great time for us to celebrate our freedom as Americans, but also our family as a church. It has been such a great year with New Spring Missions. This year we were able to take nine trips to Guatemala and it has been such a joy to work with our two partners there in helping to build the kingdom and make an impact in those communities. If you are interested in making a bold move and you want to go on a New Spring Mission trip with us next year, check out the link below. We saw so many people in 2019 take a step toward God and into No Ordinary Family. We launched an 1115 Connect class at our gathering because so many of you were interested in starting to serve or be a part of a group. We saw right at 3,000 people move through all four of our Connect classes. If you haven't had a chance to sign up for Connect yet, we would love to see you in 2020. What's up, New Spring family? 2019 has been incredible. We got to see God do some amazing things as we launched middle school and high school fuse in two separate environments. Because we did this, we're starting to see our young people engage with and own their faith in ways we've never seen before. So in case you forgot about a little thing our church does every year called the gauntlet, let's celebrate it one more time. And the main thing I wanna celebrate with you, church, is that over half of our students who went were scholarshiped by you. So thank you for believing in the next generation and partnering with us for those who will come after us. God did amazing things in 2019. I can't wait to see what he does in 2020. It's been an incredible year for Rally, and I just wanna say thank you because it's been a year of growth. Because of your investment, we've grown into a new location, meeting in Clemson and Columbia every month. Our groups have almost doubled as we've seen growth in that area. And we've got so many young adults that are growing spiritually as they're becoming free, filled, and on fire for Jesus all over the state. Wow, no lo puedo creer, se acabó el año 2019 y aquí estaba recordando lo que Dios hizo aquí en nuestra iglesia y en nuestra ciudad. La noche de alabanza fue espectacular, más de 600 personas reunidas, 20 países representados, pero ¿sabes qué? El próximo año hay mucho más. 2020 será un año de muchas bendiciones. One of my favorite series this year was Elephant in the Room. We tackled tough subjects that people are already talking about. And we talked about racism, and sexuality, and politics. 
and we showed you as a church how we can actually be the church in the world so that the world can see who Jesus really is. What's up, New Spring? We're celebrating here in Northeast Columbia over the past four years. We've grown from a house to a dance studio, loading in and out at a high school. Now we have a permanent facility and we adopt a new family along the way. I was the pastor of Radiant Life Church, but now we're part of the New Spring family and so excited about reaching people for Jesus in our community. This year we celebrated our first ever women's conference and it was incredible. We had thousands of women gather from all across the state of South Carolina and beyond. We got to worship together, pray together, gather together and hear from none other than Lisa Turkus. Hey, if you were there, you know how good it was. But ladies, we don't want you to miss out next year. More details and the link, find it below. We can't wait to see you. And what an amazing Christmas season we had here at New Spring Church. Our Christmas gatherings were absolutely amazing with so many people coming to know Jesus. And our first ever Christmas Eve family candlelight gathering was incredible as we got to celebrate the birth of Jesus and how that birth changes everything. Wow, yeah, wasn't that incredible? I hope as you watched all of those highlights and heard from some of our leaders and team, your heart was encouraged with how good God has been in 2019. You know, a statement that comes to my mind is that God has provided and that the best predictor for his future faithfulness has been his past provision. And in 2019, he provided for his church. And so we can stir our hearts with anticipation, looking forward to 2020, that we're gonna see God do even more, that our best years are our next years. And so as we begin to look forward to 2020, a couple of things I wanna just put before you. We're starting a brand new series next Sunday called Teach Us to Pray. Here's why. The disciples could have asked Jesus to teach them anything. Teach me to preach, teach me to perform miracles, teach me to do that whole magic trick with the bread and the fish and feed everybody. But the one thing they asked was, Lord, would you teach us to pray? There's something significant there. And all the things that God's gonna do through his church this year are gonna be powerful, but before God does things through us, he wants to do some things in us. And so January the 5th, we start a brand new series, 915 and 1115, Teach Us to Pray. I want you to be there believing that God's gonna do something in us. But the other thing I want you to make a note of is that at 5 p.m. on that same Sunday, we're having a night of worship at all 14 of our campuses. So 915, 1115, Teach Us to Pray. At 5 p.m., a night of worship with our entire church body as we anticipate all that God wants to do. You know, one of my pastors and leaders says it like this. He says, you know, if we could see what was happening in the unseen world when we prayed, we'd never stop praying. And we're believing that God's gonna do some incredible things this year in his church, but we also are believing that God wants to start the year by doing some incredible things in you and in me. We'll see you on January 5th for Teach Us to Pray.